All right, we'll do it just like we did last time. Uh, I'll call on you in twos. We'll start with Anthony Dasher and go to Todd O'Reilly. Hey, Jamari, good to see you. Um, when uh, when you talk to Broderick about about left tackle and him trying to you know learn all the nuances, what what are some of the biggest things you're trying to help him get get a real good grasp of right now? Um, I mean, honestly, it's not too much. You know, Broderick is uh, already a gifted kid, um, gifted pass blocker. Um, he's he's got things that I I wish I could have had at his age. Um, but he can ball. Uh, mostly just talking to him about consistency, um, being consistent, um, a lot of things in the run game. Um, just trying to try to keep it simple because he's he's talented enough. Just the small little details that it takes to you know be able to make it translate on game day. Hey Jamari, I wanted to ask you about Brock Bowers and what he's done as a blocker so far. There, what have you seen from him? Obviously, I know he works as a tight end, but I'm sure you guys have worked together at some point. Oh uh, yeah, Brock is a horse. Uh, Brock Brock can run, um, and with with people normally that can run, they're pretty explosive. So he's an explosive blocker. Um, really good at you know maintaining angles and. Uh, you know, just really good, really good guy to double team with and stuff. So, uh, yeah, man, Brock, Brock's a gifted athlete. Uh, and he's, you know, he showed that last week. I'm sure he'll continue to show it. So, yeah. Okay, let's go to Catherine Lewis, followed by Jake Rowe. Hey, um, I wanted to ask you about you and Cedric Van Pran's relationship. Um, you being a veteran player and him being newer to that starting lineup, but a, a big contributor. Um, what What is your relationship like with him? How does that um, play on the field? Oh uh, man, he'll laugh at it. Uh yeah, that's my guy, man. Said it dog. That's that's my that's my guy, man. Uh yeah, said says a good kid. Uh comes from good family. Um obviously, you know, they they're going through a lot right now, but he stayed strong, keep kept his head on straight. I asked him about his family all the time. But yeah, man, says good kid, uh real lighthearted, doesn't take it too seriously. But uh, you know, it's great. You know, he's getting, he's getting an opportunity to play at a really young age. And uh, you know, he's stepping into it, doing, doing, doing his thing, you know. Um you know, I talk to, we talk a lot off the field. We joke a lot. And, uh, you know, he's always trying to looking for a reason to smile and poke and pride at the, at the old bull. So, uh, yeah, I, I enjoy, I enjoy him being here. Uh, ever since he's been here, he's been a joy to have. And, um, obviously, you know, his play has been pretty well too. So um, I'm excited for him. I'm happy for him. And, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll continue to grow as a player and as a person too. So, yeah. Uh, Jamari Kirby has said, you know, a couple of times this week that, uh, the run game, <clears throat> you guys need to get it going. Um, What's y'all's attitude about that? Is there a sense of urgency there, or are you just kind of taking it, you know, uh, I'm not necessarily day by day, but is, is there really a sense of urgency with you guys? Is it something you're concerned about, and, and do you really feel like you get it worked out? Uh, I think here at the university, running the ball, is all, we always have a sense of urgency about that. Um, whether, whether it's good or bad, uh, we always take things with the week. Um, you know, for us, I think the run game is kind of a, uh, a detailed thing. I don't think it's an effort thing. I don't think it's a – Maybe even a personnel thing. I think it's just the details, you know, the, the finer details, the finishing this block, the going in this direction. So, uh, yeah, um, it's, it's always a sense of urgency here because that's what this program has been founded on since the eighties. So, uh, but yeah, we we take great pride in, in in our offensive line and our defensive line play and being able to run the ball and, and uh, stop the run. So, uh, yeah, we 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 really want to get those things corrected and you know get back to being the team that we want to be. Okay, let's go to Palmer Tomes, followed by Seth Emerson. Yeah, Jamari, with that sense of urgency that comes to fixing the run game, has there been anything, any extra urgency uh, you, you've noticed in practice this week, uh, any extra periods that y'all are doing, working the run game, uh, stuff like that? Oh, um, I mean, nothing, nothing extra. You know, we, we do team run um, every day, really. So uh, we do team run. Uh, we, 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 we put the ball down, we spot the ball, and we go play. Put our ones against the defensive ones, we go play. Um, you know, we, obviously everybody knows that what we've known all – spring and all summer that our defense line is really talented and um you know we give them trouble too so um it's not to say that they line up every time we spot the ball they kill us you know we we, we have our periods against them and we get really good work in so uh, i don't think is there any, there's like i said i don't think there's anything extra we need to do just clean up the, the finer details of our run game um get uh make sure we execute the plan uh finishing blocks chasing down uh the ball carriers just stuff like that small things small things that'll make a, a turn of play from a three-yard game to a maybe a 50-yard touchdown so um yeah Hey, Jamari, uh, you got a lot of run game and blocking questions, so I'll go ahead and ask about the quarterbacks. Uh, I, Kirby said the other day Stetson's dealing with a little back issue and obviously JT working his way back in the oblique. How, how have those two guys looked the last couple of days in practice? I'm um, just rotating. Uh, you know, those guys, both those guys working in, getting their reps. Um, you know, honestly, for me, I, I barely even notice, you know, who's back there. 
both those guys are really great players. Both the guys, both both of those guys have really great command of the of the offense. So um, it's like you know you kind of don't even realize if it's a thirteen or eighteen back there. You know you just kind of you block it. You know you block it, making sure they don't get hit. You know it's it's not really a, a big change for us. Both of those guys bring a lot of things to the table. So one thing one guy brings one thing, one guy brings another. But they both have a really good control and really good management of the offense. So uh, yeah, a lot of times you don't even really notice. You just kind of protecting them. Okay, we'll go to Mark Weiser and then finish by opening it up to all questions. Jamari, what percent of uh, like a practice today do you uh, are you at left tackle, and what percent are you inside? You know, working some other spots. Uh, percentages are hard. Uh, I would say I probably get equal reps at uh, at all. Uh, I rotate a lot, even um, even before you know we had injuries and all this type of different things. You know, I was always rotated rotating between. Uh, guard, center, and tackle on on both sides, so I, I can play all five. So um, you know, it's, I'm always the, the the swing man, I guess you would call me. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I rotate and I and I get reps at all. So you know, if, if in a dire situation, I'll be ready to hop in and play any position on the line. So uh, I'm excited for the opportunity. It's a challenge every day. It's not always easy, even being a, a season vet. So, but uh, I enjoy the opportunity. I enjoy the challenge, and uh, you know, I embrace it every day. Thanks. Questions from anyone. Hey, Jamari, do you think you're better at tackle or guard at this point in your career? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Uh, it's weird. Like, you know, I was I was rated, rated as a guard coming out of high school. But, uh, you know, it's like weird. You know, me being 6'3", 6'4", and, and having a body frame that I did, I, I would have never predicted that I played tackle in college. I mean, even though I played in my senior high school. But uh, I'm not really sure which one I'm better at. I, I kind of I, I take I take pride in being the best that I can be at both. Um, and even at center too. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard. It's kind of a hard question to ask, but uh, I enjoy it. Like I said, I, I embrace the challenge every day, and uh, I try to be the best that I can at either one of them. I try not to measure them more so. Um, I just analyze and just get better at both positions. So. Is there one you're more comfortable at or you feel more natural at? No, not necessarily. I, I feel I feel pretty pretty comfortable at both. Like I said, I get a lot of reps at all positions. So comfort-wise, comfort, comfort wise, I feel pretty good at, at all five. Okay, any other questions? All right, Jamari, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it.